It has been 25 years since six friends gathered around this couch at Central Park. Yes, this is the couch. And TV fans couldn't be more excited with 236 episodes, 10 seasons, and millions of viewers. Friends has become a sitcom and a streaming staple. Big brands are looking to cash in on the nostalgia. Claire Sebastian has our report. From product placement... No, but this Wonder Broom is amazing! Hey. <laughs> <laughs> to memorabilia and even haircuts, Friends has always been a brand that sells. And 25 years on, that hasn't changed. It's still not enough for viewers just to watch the show. They want to live in the world of Monica, Chandler, Ross, Rachel, Phoebe and Joey. And that means eating their food, sitting on their couch and, of course, drinking their coffee. And businesses are taking advantage. Coffee chain Coffee Bean and Tea Leaf jumped at the chance of a tie-up for the anniversary, launching a special edition range of coffee, specialty drinks and memorabilia. Our friends-themed coffee mugs we pre-released and actually sold out in about three hours. They also hosted two pop-up Central Perk events in Los Angeles in August. Those two locations, we saw significant spikes in foot traffic. But more importantly, as a business, it really bolstered system-wide sales. Isn't it cool? It's an apothecary table. <gasps> Pottery Barn also brought back the famous apothecary table, which despite its $1,000 price tag is a top seller in its department, the company says, must be the you know, antique yes. properties. Oh. You can almost smell the opium. Even Lego is getting in on the action with a $60 replica of Central Perk. Lego says it's one of its fastest selling sets ever. Now, of course, none of these promotions would work nearly as well if Friends hadn't experienced a revival in the age of streaming. Last year, it was Netflix's second most watched show, and the company reportedly paid around $100 million to keep the rights to the show for one more year before it goes on a break, moving to Warner Media's HBO Max streaming service in 2020. It's an iconic show, and ultimately, it's really one of the crown jewels of streaming. Everything changed now with HBO coming in, a major shot across the bow at Netflix, taking friends. And I ultimately believe 2 to 3% of Netflix viewers watch it just because of friends. So for those who say friends and money don't mix... What's more important, your friends or money? Friends! friends. This 25-year-old sitcom still gets the last laugh. <laughs> Friends is owned by Warner Brothers TV, which is, of course, part of CNN's parent company, Warner Media. Let's pivot to our conversation. Joining me now are my friends, Claire Sebastian and Frank Pilotta. So, guys, this is the couch. The couch. This is it. <laughs> I can smell the coffee. <laughs> We're sitting on the couch. Um, so, Claire, obviously, a lot of yeah. companies have really tried their best to try and make money from friends and success of friends. Yeah. How successful have their efforts actually been? Well, it does actually seem to be really making an impact. Coffee Bean and Tea Leaf that you saw in the piece, they tell me that this is going to show up in their, their full year profits. This is really having that much of an impact. And if you look at, if you try and buy some of these products, it's actually now impossible. Lego seem to have sold out uh, temporary of that $60 set. The, the uh, apothecary table at $1,000 is still available, but Pottery Barn has some other products that now aren't shipping till December. Things like mugs and tea towels and things like that. And there's this pop-up in New York, a whole friend experience with various different Instagrammable things that you can do and they uh, have also sold out of tickets you have to sign up into a list and wait for more to become available so it seems that people are really going crazy <laughs> Frank what is it about this TV show that producers got so right 25 well, years ago it's it's comfort food I mean that and that's why it's still so popular with streaming services you think of some of the most talked about shows on television right now you have shows like Chernobyl or succession they're not exactly shows that are easy to watch they're heavy they're right. they're important but they're heavy and they're very well made friends is a background blockbuster you can have it on in the background when you're cooking when you're having friends over when you're just sitting around it's 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 yeah exactly that was the audience agrees with me and love. yeah the audience agrees I wish I could have this following me around everywhere it's just it's a it's a really easy thing to kind of just take in and it's easily bingeable and that's why things like Netflix and HBO Max really uh, want it so much it's because people can just turn it on and turn their brains off and enjoy these turn their brains yeah off. I mean not in a bad way but it's a very enjoyable show um, so, Claire, one sort of more serious angle right. of all this is that the Friends cast, at one point, yeah. we learned about actors collectively bargaining yeah. for their salaries. Towards the end of 
what was it the, the, the last season the or last so two seasons, yeah. they were making one million dollars per episode and that's because they fought for that yeah they banded together it was mm -hmm. collective bargaining as you say and they they said it's you know either all of us get the same a million per episode or, or we don't do it at all and of course NBC relied on uh, on friends for its Thursday night lineup it was a huge part uh, of their business at the time and so they said you know eventually yes and I think since then it's really only um, very few others who've managed to do this uh, I, so I mean they really kind of set the tone big money really stalks this production incredible and and Frank just in terms of how it changed the media landscape what other shows did friends pave the way for well you can see in terms of just the cast contracts you can talk about Big Bang Theory you can talk mm -hmm. about Modern Family mm -hmm. I mean and it was worth it I mean look at it this way the final seasons of friends was bringing in around 20 to 25 million viewers on average for that the final episode more than 50 don't see million those numbers anymore. no not even close the only not thing that close. even comes close now is live sports in terms of sitcoms it's very rare to have something like that so friends brought in more friends that made them family <laughs> <laughs> See, they thought that was funny. See, I'm very, I'm very <laughs> witty. So funny. Oh my I'm god, very I'm, so, witty. I'm so funny. Um, actually, they were laughing with me. That's anyway. fine. Whatever you um, think. <laughs> Frank, <laughs> I'm going to laugh constantly. Frank, follow the class, Sebastian. Thank you so much. And be sure to watch our CNN special report, Friends Forever 25 Years of Laughter, airing Sunday at 10 p.m. Sunday in New York and 10 a.m. Monday if you are watching from Hong Kong.